Now, this is a very important topic, the alteration of DNA by frequency. <clears throat> and the two-edged sword, as I call it, of physical catastrophe and spiritual enlightenment is a theme that comes up again and again and again in human history. Terrible catastrophe accompanied by a spiritual enlightenment. Now, on the scientific side, this is a really, really important topic for this, and it's a really important topic going back to the question posed by Genesis, far though it may seem to be from where we started. We're coming back right to the source again. There are strange things happening right now at the center of our galaxy. And Professor Scott Hyman, who's uh, on the staff at Sweet Briar College in Virginia, published an article in the edition of Nature that appeared on the 3rd of March in the year 2005. He discovered five bursts of radio waves coming out of the center of our galaxy from observations made at the Very Large Array, the VLA telescope, the Very Large Array, again, a very imaginative title. That's the color in New Mexico during 2002. The bursts lasted 10 minutes each and appeared every 77 minutes over a seven hour period from the 30th of September to the 1st of October 2002. That's all the observations did. Who knows what they're doing since. Now, what's the significance of this? It's the first time ever that radio emissions have ever been detected from the center of our galaxy. And nobody quite knows what it means except everybody seems to think it's ominous. Number two, the emission of gravitational waves is the second anomaly happening at the center of our galaxy apparently now. Now Albert Einstein had suggested the existence of these waves as far back as 1916 and he called them ripples in the fabric of space-time. He suggested they transported an energy called gravitational radiation. And it's believed that when gravitational waves hit the Earth, they vibrate matter. And even though we may not feel them ourselves in our own body, the Earth does. And it's suspected that these gravitational waves that are now coming from the center of the galaxy, that they may be behind very unusual volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and earthquakes. They're beginning to suspect that. Now, both Caltech and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology are devising methods to detect these waves because up to now we didn't have very satisfactory methods. They're ta thought to be the result of massive disruptions or phase changes in the universe. And they don't know what those changes are. And measurement of the gravitational waves is made more complex because the signal falls off with the square of the distance. So by the time they get here, from the center of the galaxy, because the signals are extremely tiny. Number three anomaly happening right now at the center of our galaxy was discovered by a European X-ray satellite. A 20 light year wide thing that they call a loop. Now that's one-fifth of the diameter of the Milky Way galaxy, 20 light years across. And scientists from the Max Planck Institute in Germany, from the University of Leicester, uh, believe that the loop is producing subatomic particles with massive amounts of energy. Uh, such as would be produced, for instance, if you had a massive co cosmic particle generator located there. Now, when you compare that with the Mayan view, uh, that the center of the galaxy, which they called Hulabku, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, they said that that area, the center of the galaxy, Hulabku, emitted enormous energies. And it varied from time to time, and the future of humanity, according to the Maya, depended on what occurred there at that time. Now, Dr. Paul LaViolette has discovered that there are high energy gamma rays bombarding us at present, the radiation of which will vibrate all the molecules and atoms on Earth, including us and in the whole solar system. Again, no one knows what that means. 
except once again, everyone is agreed that this is not a good situation. <laughs> Some who take a more positive view have contended that this will raise what they are pleased to call the spiritual energy of matter. The solar system will be raised to a higher dimension and will prepare the way for a spiritual golden age. Let's hope that they are right. And let's hope that we won't be fried to a crisp in the process, which is an equally realistic potential. <laughs> now, it's generally realized that most galaxies do have black holes at their center. And they have extraordinary centers of gravity, which draw in and consume energy on a massive scale. And when this consumption occurs, the black holes spew out immense radiation. Now the photon belt is a very popular idea, as you're probably aware, in many circles today. It states that an immense collection of photons, which is the smallest unit of light or electromagnetic radiation that we can detect, is moving through space in our neighborhood. Now, let me emphasize, there is no physical evidence for the existence of the photon belt. I said it's a popular topic, whether it exists or not, I do not know. But some say that it is a spiritual energy which couldn't be registered anyway by science in the present decadent state of scientific development. Now the photon belt is said at the present time to be in the vicinity of the Pleiades, but it's suggested it would be near the Earth by the year 2012. Those who believe that there is such a phenomenon as the photon belt say it will positively affect our spiritual growth and negatively impact our weather and all of our technology when it comes. Now the Pleiades, as you know, are commonly referred to as the Seven Sisters, though in fact they are a collection of 500 stars. And most of these stars are quite young. So they burn at extremely high temperatures, far hotter than our sun. And this gives off, as it appears to us, light that appears to be blue because it's very high frequency. That light being reflected by the nebula that I mentioned, the gaseous clouds and particles that are around the Pleiades right now, gives the impression of a blue halo around the Pleiades at the moment. You can see that astronomically right now. Now, whether that's the photon belt or not, of course, again, I do not know. But the proponents of the photon belt theory say that this energy is actually coming from another dimension and will lead to a major spiritual renaissance throughout the entire planet. And during the passage through the photon belt, the Earth will experience three days of darkness, the same as the other uh, theory I mentioned. It will excite, this radiation I mean, will excite atoms and molecules and it will cause a golden age of spiritual realization. Those who do not wish to have their frequencies raised will find themselves in a lower dimensional universe that will match their levels of development. So, this brings us to an interesting topic, automatic enlightenment. <laughs> Remember I said we all of the instant gratification culture want a portion.